Hello guys and welcome again to my channel. This is EUC Serbia and we're doing a lot of riding reviews, tests and everything else. You probably seen my Emotion V13 Challenger unboxing video and now it's time for ride review yes you know what everybody say it. the suspension is not so great on emotion v13 challenger but for me it's almost perfect it's great perfect for the road and if you dial it right it's great for bumps and curves and everything else so great for commuting on a daily basis if you have a good gear and a good power pads everything is possible with this wheel so let's start the review Nobody's faster than me. Currently. So. Sorry for a speed run. I will come back here. We are doing we are today we are not doing the the fast ride. We are doing the slow ride because of you guys and all the things that I need to say about Emotion V13 Challenger and because of the audio because I need you to hear me good not only to see what's happening so I have Emotion V13 Challenger for a couple of months now. It's almost my daily driver. I usually ride big wheels uh, in form of big. Uh, it's 22 inch usually. Usually I don't ride small wheels. So this is something I like to ride. I before this I had uh, one second. People really react good to this finger ding bell. So before this, I had a monster 22 inch for a long time as a daily driver. Yeah, it's big wheel, but without suspension. I love that wheel because it's not that heavy and it's a big tire but no suspension as I say on this thing I get big tire I got comfy smooth ride but also got suspension also I ride a monster oh I'm sorry I got I ride a master pro so a few weeks ago I had a free really big wheels monster 22 inch master pro 22 inch and emotion with 13 challenger 22 inch wheel so i'm master of 22 inch wheels maybe <laughs> and without further ado let's start talking about this wheel I'm not spending much time on the others but I had a lot of experience with the big wheels I had Master Pro before this one so I know what to expect and now how to how the Master Pro behave I still didn't do the comparison video with new film framer from Big God that's out but 
samo jednu stranu. Hvala. But I'll do the compression video with the Master Pro and the Motion V13 Challenger. That's my two daily drivers. So, let's start from this guy. I really love it. It's my go-to wheel <laughs> for almost everything. I prefer this one more than the Master Pro. Master Pro is a little bit different with the new software now, but for now it's this guy. As I say already, the suspension, everybody say that suspension is not that good or something like that. I think you guys never dial it right. Because when you receive your unit and then start riding it and don't know anything about it and don't do any maintenance check or something else, some parts may be loose, some parts are not for your size and weight and everything else. It's not only the thing that you pump suspension and go. By the way, I pump this by the book on 200 psi because I'm a big and a tall guy. I'm a one, uh, 193 centimeters height and a little bit over 100 kilos, like 102, 103 kilos guy. I don't know in pounds and everything else, but that's what will you get from me. So for 100 kilos, 200 psi and everything is okay with suspension, but you must remove uh, the suspension rod. They it have two suspension rods on each side and two dampener and rebound rods on each side. So you must remove them and see if they are tight very well. If they have some loose looseness anywhere, some clunky sound on the on the suspension on or where you, when you are riding it start stop or on small bumps and curves you hear some sound something is not connected or tightened very well so as uh, all suspension units you need to do some maintenance checkup regularly and you need to tighten all the nuts and the bolts and everything else. So if you tighten them all right, you pump the suspension on your liking and rebound, I set in between. It's not too soft, not too hard, but in, in between, this has become really good wheel and with really good suspension and no plucking sounds or something like that. You hear it only tire moving so uh, it also gets one more thing that you can adjust that most of people did, didn't, didn't even know that exist is from the down part when you're looking at your suspension from the right corner uh, you have some small hole that you can listen to your I think smallest wrench smallest Allen wrench that you can that you have in a complete and you sh should play with it and not to twist it too hard and not to lose it too hard when your when your wheel is uh, up and running if when you're moving it front and back if some clunk sound is uh, there you need to tighten it a little bit and when you're riding and standing still and doing something like this like jumps if you hear some rubber sound like a rubber going on some rubber something like that then you need to lose it a little bit so when you connect it as it's supposed to be and also when you lube it right i use a PTFE dry lube, Teflon lube or something like that uh, on the bottom part that is have movement, movement and connection then everything becomes different 
good tightening checking the suspension checking the movement and getting the dry lobe on that's the key part for good suspension good working suspension as you can see this is really good working suspension without any sounds if you have any sounds you need some maintenance and maintenance is needed for any suspension wheel okay that's suspension next it's trolley handle and trolley handle is great for such a wheel it's a big wheel and you can use really easy troll it around great wheel see no problem whatsoever to do any movement great 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 this is one of the positive stuff also the positive stuff is these handles because you can lift your wheel with it you can hard break with it and you can use it when you're trying to sit down it's a good thing that you can use something when you need to sit down use a handle for some corrections just to feel the weight and everything else so handles are great front and back one upper part for moving the wheel and everything else and uh, down part for lifting the wheel really great every wheel need to have handles please add that to all EUCs let's talk pedals pedals stock wide pedals really I'll show some pictures the I think the older version have some studs like screws on it and uh, new models don't have screws it can be changed so you know you can see maybe see but the new version is only like cast and don't have any holes and any and any screws so maybe not that good as this option but this one is really good so big light pedals with good grip on it i i, I love the pedals i usually ride like neil and Owas, something like that and this is really correct not perfect but really correct you have an angle adjustment stock they come with like 10 percent uh, uh, angle and you can add some small plates to uh, to adjust it to 20 percent so nothing in between sadly but even this sometimes okay okay let's see if this is working so pedals really big really great for the stock pedals perfect i think i must say even more quality and better materials than the <laughs> big old ones even if they are big and have some good spikes on it but this is not that bad build quality exceptional I really uh, IP rating nobody have IP rating only motion have IP rating so uh, be free in your head that you don't need to think about um, is it gonna rain today or not just go and ride it's totally different option and you see acceleration and braking it's great almost no wobbles sometimes but really stable wheel it's when you're riding it it's like a train you just want to go straight you just want to go just want you to push it more and go more it's really interesting 
wheel. Sorry for red light. Just in one side. Thank you. So really want to go straight. Um, then software. Boy, this is the biggest difference in any, I don't know, you see manufacturer and emotion itself because they have great software you know uh, with well and great screen that you can change see everything and change change everything by the way we totally never overheat i'm a huge guy i ride it on like 40 degrees Celsius in a ride and didn't have any problem with overheating this. I never got got it over 50 to 53 Celsius so it's really cool wheel and the software is so great because of a few things and that's that you can change everything I mean everything you can customize it however you like really uh, it's not like uh, you're just changing uh, hard medium mode or race mode or something like, like that you have option for pedal softness when you put it to 100 it's hard mode <laughs> as I might say maybe not that hard but it's hard mode when you put it to zero it's like soft mode and everything is wiggly but also when everything is wiggly top speed is lower just no so recommendation to go to the pedal harness to 100 percent maybe a little bit less but i ride on 100 percent to have full speed and for uh for the other things you have like that power sister, whatever you call it. And when you turn it on, you have uh, acceleration assistant and braking assistant. And acceleration assistant and braking assistant have so much influence on your ride. It's, it's not even possible on any other wheels. Uh, because when you have uh, acceleration zero, you are in like hard mode, nothing is moving and it's really hard to accelerate. So you need to go have really good power pads to accelerate with the motion with 13. It's a really big wheel, 22 inch wheel. Uh, sorry, 22 inch over the 50 kilograms. If you're a small guy, sorry, I'm a big guy but with good power pads you can do anything on it so recommendation even stocks for somebody stock power pads are good for somebody i like like grizzless or milanova's kinetics whatever but good power pads are must to release all the power that you have on emotion with your team so uh, software as I say when your acceleration is zero it's hard to accelerate and nothing is moving when you are on 100% acceleration uh, when you turn uh, when you lean on the pedal dip a little bit and move you forward it's so easy to accelerate when you have uh, acceleration assistant on 100% some guys say it's even faster than be good 134 volts wheels like ex30 or master or something like that but there is also a, a braking assistant braking assistant i usually ride in almost 100 percent because uh, when you have it lower it's okay with braking when you have it on 
100% braking is perfect. I mean, perfect. And even when you lean hard, the uh, foot plates goes up a little bit. So you have acceler uh, you have braking system. So you're leaning more back. Usually, uh, in on my calibration, I ride in minus. Yeah, <laughs> not plus. I have acceleration system to one. So I ride in minus one, minus two even some sometimes. I know one guy that rides it that have acceleration system from 100% and have <laughs> uh, have angle adjustment to minus six or minus seven. He rides it that he like that way because when he lean too much, it dips too much for him. So when uh, when the acceleration for me like now i think is on 60 70 percent and angle is minus two with angle minus two i got uh, less pedal dipping and have a gr uh, greater braking power when i need to hard brake on some rush terrain or something like that so but you can change everything Customize everything from angle, from pedal softness, from uh, braking in uh, acceleration assistant. You can change everything. This is real that you need to, you, you cannot just try somebody else wheel and say, eh, it's okay wheel, it's not okay wheel. You need to dial suspension, you need to dial uh, the software for you. I know some guys need over 200 or 300 kilometers on it for like i know seven to ten days to dial it dial it really good when you dial it really good you don't have any problems it's totally your wheel and everything is and everything is connected and mounted for you so you don't have any problems with it it doesn't have any pedal dips when you're turning, so that's great. Huh? Let's see, should we stop or not? You know, we are going. Okay. <clears throat> For the acceleration braking, you can change everything, it's, it's really good stable the tire is hybrid tire almost a nobby tire but some kind of hybrid tire that i really like it's good for off-road but it's also perfect from for on-road and give you more stability than you ever think you need but believe me you need good stability on these wheels i don't like small wheels with less stability and more torque if you know how to lean, if you have good power pads, you have good torque even on this beast. I don't know. It's, everything is changeable. So for a light, it's a great light. In front, you have a great light, even can be out on. So it can be turned when it's dark, but I turn it when I like to turn it, not when he likes to turn it. But light is great. So I, as I see on, on some online videos, even better than Emotion V11. And real, really good. Good light. Uh, backlight also have braking options, so I already know when you're braking. Also, it have two charging ports. Usual stock charger is five amps, so you can put two charge, two ports for five amps. Even bigger ones, I think max input in charging is uh, like uh, 14 amps. With stock charger, five amps. Your uh, from uh, zero to 100 is on like five to six hours. With two chargers, you are like under three hours 
in full charge. But usually no, you, you're never in a, need in a full charge, so you're probably faster up and going. Uh, also, the range, range on this thing, whatever you do to it, uphills, fast rides, you will get 1% one kilometer. If you're a slower rider and you're taking your time and doing some slow things, like old grandpa, like this, then you probably have over 100 kilometers 120 to 140 kilometers is usually something that people got and they are not pushing it if you are a street rider if you are pushing it i think minimum is 80 90 kilometers but hard pushing it over 50. if you are using it regularly 100 kilometer is more than satisfying option for this so everybody complain about the range range is great on this machine and it doesn't have pedal dipping um, doesn't have a uh, battery sag like when we got the Gotris. so all in all great wheel with great build quality thank you guys for joining me today See you soon for more videos, more comparison. But this is a really great wheel. And I enjoy riding it every day. Bye bye guys. See you soon. Like, subscribe, share. You know the real. Bye bye.